absolutely gorgeous 2400 BH Passport just landed here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, complete with the uh, the newest 2015 updates. Um, among those, you obviously should notice the full body color package. Yeah, that's actually a standard item now. Um, that's one of my favorite things about Passport. They don't have a lot of options, and the reason I like that is because with a lot of options, you lose consistency. And that's when you can sometimes run into um, quality control issues. Basically, these things are all built essentially identical. It's called cookie cutter construction, and it's what makes them so bulletproof. They come in clean. We don't have issues with them. When we sell them, they stay in your driveway, not mine. And that's my favorite part about these is the reliability of this product. You know, you're investing thousands of dollars. Let's make sure that they're actually going to work for you. Now, passports are extremely lightweight. These cable slide systems are one of the reasons why. There's a lot of advantages to these. Um, if at a knee jerk, without being educated on this, you look at this and say, wow, man, just that's exposed. Can't that just like rust and whatnot? And the answer is no. That's high grade aircraft cable. That stuff is made to last uh, through just about any climate. Uh, we like to uh, add aluminum wheels on these. Uh, it just really dresses them up, especially with this new color package. Um, oh, back to that slide out. Uh, the cable system makes it extremely lightweight. It also makes it self-locking. You do not need slide out locks uh, with passport slides. Very cool thing. Now notice the power awning on this thing. It covers the entire body of the trailer, even inclusive of the outside kitchen. It goes all the way to the front where the nose starts to, to taper down. Very cool, big power on. It's like 20 feet long. Um, this does have an outdoor kitchen here. And uh, notice that on both sides we have these countertop extensions so that you do have plenty of room. You have room to set your, your a tray, a platter. You, you can set your tongs down after you're done flipping stuff. And uh, of course, my favorite part of any outdoor kitchen is Dad's medicine cabinet right here. And actually, the refrigerators are one of the number one reasons people are constantly in and out of their trailers. The uh, axles, you'll notice, are spread apart pretty far. They're for load equalization. It helps keep this thing balanced and riding nicer down the road. It also helps eliminate uh, wiggle and sway going down the road. Little things to take a look at. Check this against other ultralights. You'll find a lot of them don't have these nice little touches. And these are the reasons passports, like I said, are what I call bulletproof. See this giant sealed hinge? They seal the piano hinge on this so that water and uh, debris can't get in your hinge. If you don't do that, you ever been at a campground and you hear someone open the door and goes, Ree! that's why, because that hinge has all been out of shape effectively. Let's step inside here. Now one thing I always like to point out on these is that wood plank look linoleum. Good lord, I love it. It's so rich and beautiful. Um, the uh, This is a uh, an update of, I think it was called the 2300 last year. Um, most of this is going to look pretty similar. Now, they have gone through and really done a nice job of updating their interior graphics. Like, these are the standard countertops. Man, look at these things. They're just beautiful. It's a high-def print. It looks stellar. I love the way these look. And uh, they've gone to a nice contrast between the countertops and the, and the very rich color on the cabinetry but it's not extreme, and because everything else in here is left so light, you don't feel like you're climbing into a dark, gloomy hole. Um, the U-Dinettes, when these fold down, they fold down into a seven foot, two inch sleeper. So an adult can truly sleep on this and be comfortable. A um, Couple kids can sleep on here, no problem. Now notice around your dinette, we have all these, especially this extra large giant window here, and you do have a night privacy shade. Now one thing I wanna point out to you, let me step back outside real quick. Notice these windows, you see how tinted they are? You see how you can't really see inside of here unless you have something right up next to the window? These windows are UV tinted and that gives you an 80% privacy tint. So again, unless you stick your hand right up next to it, you can't see inside, but you can see outside plain as day. So it's a, it's a cool little privacy thing and that's why these don't have day and night shades. A day night shade is neat, but it's, it's, it's an extra mechanical thing that can be tricky to take care of. Now, uh, over here in the kitchen, the, uh, they specifically take extra notice of the upper cabinet doors and they put a, a hardwood insert in here. These doors are going to be used more than any other, so they make sure that these doors are built heavier and stronger. That's what I like about Passport. They're very realistic in how this thing's going to be used. Your refrigerator in a Passport's a little different. Instead of a six cubic foot, it is a seven 
cubic foot refrigerator freezer and it uses a helium element as a coolant rather than uh, like Freon. The advantage of helium is if this trailer isn't level, it doesn't matter. With a, a Freon type refrigerator, if the trailer's not level, it won't cool properly if you're using propane to cool. Now here's the big difference between last year's 2300 and this year's 2400 model. Rather than two single bunks, we have a double over double bunk setup. So you're doubling your sleeping capacity in this. And if you don't need to sleep that many people, they, they can maybe double up down here, throw all their bags and stuff up here. You can use it as storage is really the point I'm getting at. And right across from that, they were kind enough to include an extra linen closet specifically for guests. And if you don't need it for guests, that's a huge pantry. Um, generously sized bathroom, and I mean, just to give you an idea, you know, I'm 6'3", I'm a tall fella. I got plenty of room, I can sit here, I, got, I can be comfortable. You see that I'm not sitting with my knees, you know, curled up under me, I'm just sitting here like a normal adult would do. Um, the, uh, in ultralights, things like a shower wall surround are often left um, out, they're omitted for cost and weight reasons, but passport bills are things smarter, uh, and they with their lamination processes they maintain that lightweight nature and these are extremely light this trailer is only 4700 pounds um, if this were conventionally built it would be probably about at least 1100 pounds more than this if not greater uh, you know it's it's difficult to find something much lighter than a passport the only way you can get lighter than this is if you start to strip out structure, and that's a bad idea because you also remove reli or, yeah, reliability when you do that. Now notice, this, just the nice touches, the radius walls and whatnot. This year they upgraded from a 19 inch to a full 32 inch TV. Your stereo is also your DVD player, and you do have a handy all-in-one location for your control center here. It's easily visible, easily accessible, easy to get to. Um, you have sliding pocket doors, not curtains over here. Um, I mean, they, they really they, they think of everything. It's even the air conditioner. Most ultralights, especially this size, are not going to have central air. In a passport, it's standard, though. You don't have to pay extra in a passport for the things that you want and really need to have a good time camping. So give us a call to learn even more at 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.